Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Subnautica in our Survival School series. So, um, if you have never been in the Cyclops before, this is the Cyclops. Very excited to be here. This is one hell of a submarine. All of these power cells are interchangeable as they need to be recharged. I went ahead in the last episode and installed the power efficiency upgrade, so power will not drop as precipitously in, in this thing as it might otherwise. Uh, but you'll notice power is already below capacity, probably because we recharged the uh, prawn by virtue of docking it here. So I'm going to drop free here, because as much as I would like to have the prawn in the Cyclops, I would rather have the Seamoth in the Cyclops. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because the Seamoth allows me to control, have a lot more control over where I'm diving. Okay, there we go. God, so cool. <laughs> Only that should close. Hopefully they'll work on that with time. Uh, but yeah, that kind of sticks up. It doesn't... Oh, I didn't want to get in. Oh, alright. So anyway, in a second, once I get back into the Seamoth, I will show you... What else is going on with the Cyclops? And we're going to start looking around. We're going to start exploring some of the other areas we haven't visited yet. Because we have a Cyclops. Because we can. Alright, so we're going to close that. You can rename the Cyclops. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what we did in the End of the Locker series. I'm not going to rename the... the Cyclops for now. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them. But uh, but you can rename it here. You can change the color um, so it can be a completely different uh, color pattern, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, I guess one thing I will do is I'll go ahead and change this to be more of a Hadrian purple. Let me hop out real quick and see if that worked. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Might tweak the color a little bit more, but for the most part, yeah, there we go. Another thing you can do is come over here and turn the internal lighting off. You can also turn the external floodlights on and off, but this actually makes it easier to see outside of the Seamoth, especially when it's dark. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing out for a spin. No, I lied. We're not going to do that just yet because I'm realizing I need a drink. And I would be a fool not to pop back in here. Oh, also, I need to get my tools back out of the lockers, don't I? So I don't so I don't potentially explore a lot of cool new areas without, say, my welder and my laser cutter. Or a beacon, for that matter. Speaking of beacons, I think I've got... Hang on. I actually don't have very much copper. I thought I had more copper than that. That's a shame. Hmm. Okay, we'll get the scanner out and the flashlight as well. Now let's very quickly reallocate some of these things. We need the flashlight in spot four, scanner in spot three. I'll keep the sea glide on me for now because it's handy to have. And now we are going to get back in the Cyclops. Beautiful, beautiful ship this is. All right. So there's, there's the Jelly Shroom Caves, which we haven't fully explored yet, and I think it's time we went back down there to see what we can discover. That sounds like a new engine effect. That sounds different. This is the first time I've piloted the Cyclops in the past couple of updates, and that sounds like they've changed the way it sounds. I'm not complaining. It's just different. All right, so we're going to go to the Jelly Shroom Caves, which is going to take a bit for us to journey to, but that's okay. I I'm going to have to keep an eye on the power consumption of this thing as well, because, again, they have changed a lot of the power um, mechanics in Subnautica over the last couple of patches, and it's generally... You know, oh, did I forget to get water? I totally forgot to get water. My bad. All right, well, 
crap. That's really annoying. I went in to get more water and then spaced. Utterly spaced. But yeah, I'm going to have to keep an eye on the power. Okay, there's the entrance to the Jelly Shroom Caves. Alright, so the game's yelling at me because something is near the tail end. That's fine. Close the door to the bridge. And now we're going to hop into the Seamoth. Now, unfortunately... Oh, wow. We are really close to the ground. I didn't realize how close to the ground we were. But that's where we need to go, but before I go there... I need some water. So what I'm going to do... Emergency. Yeah. Severe Thank you. Thank you. I was, I was just telling them that. Appreciate that. Alright. You. Where'd you go? I needed that guy. Dang it. I didn't even see where he went. Alright. I just need to get out. Just need to get out and look. need to eat, too, in fact. There we go. There's a couple of these guys. This will help. One. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of them. Two. Three. And four. There's that. Now, where is the life pod? Fairly close by, I think. Need to visit the life pod so we can actually convert this into drinkable water. Yeah, there it is. It's not too close, but it's not terribly far either. I'm going to grab you real quick. No, 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 no. Come here. Gotcha. There's another one. Gotcha. Alright, so that's plenty of water. That's more water than we need. Need to get a med kit while I'm here, too. Actually, speaking of water, another thing I spaced on, but that I can show you as far as improving your game, some of you have probably commented on this over the past couple of episodes, because I built the rebreather a few episodes ago, but now we need, ooh, ingredients unknown for the still suit. Really? So I guess I need to look up the... That's new. I need to look up the information on the still suit. But the still suit is a really, really awesome thing to have. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Problem solved. Let me go ahead and take one of those. Anything in here that I could use? Oh, wow. I left stuff here. I didn't know that. Let's go ahead and pick up these signals. Uh, yeah, I'll take that gold. And you know what? I'll take the lithium, too. Dang. I didn't realize I had all the stuff still here. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> Ran out of power. Right as we got back in the water. Okay, back in business. Did I catch any fish? Yeah, I did. I catch it. I totally forgot I caught a peeper. I am spacing all over the place. Yeah, the still suit actually is a way for you to regain or reclaim body moisture. Don't ask questions. <laughs> and use that as drinkable water. It's salty, so it, it can... It lowers your, um, your food uh, palate, I think, a little bit. Um, again, don't ask questions. But... In general, 
is a useful thing to have. I just, apparently I need the, the blueprint for it. So they have made some changes. Look at that, hundreds across the board for a couple more seconds anyway, that's nice. Oh, there we go, it's gone. And it's gone. So let's get back to the Cyclops and the uh, Seamoth. What was that? I don't know what I was looking at for a second there. All right, let's head out here. Oh, this is tighter than I thought it would be. All right. Jelly Shroom Caves. It's been a while. Let's hop back in. Oh, this is also tighter than I thought it would be. Hello, all right. Hey, that was not as smooth as the last one. Okay, we've arrived. Let's turn off the lights. And now I need to look for one of the hidden bases down here. Now I have a rebreather with me, so it'll be a little easier to breathe. Actually, you know what? I am going to go pick up that beacon. And we're going to bring it down here with us. You might be asking yourself, but Hadrian, why would you do that? Trust me, I'm about to show you. Makes things much easier. Because this cave is actually pretty vast. And when you pick up this beacon, whatever beacon you were using to initially mark it, I've done this more than once now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Once you can safely get down to a lower depth, I'm going to plop the beacon out here. Okay, that's not the right beacon. There we go. Now, if I'm swimming around here, I don't have to look up to find that beacon. I can move toward that thing, and it's generally much better. Okay, so that worm was charging at me. Generally want to avoid them if you can. Volcano. I need to grab that. Oh, you guys look creepy down here. Those are just peepers, but they look different. Got some magnetite. Of course, we already have the compass, so it's not as significant of a finding. Let's head back this direction, as we kind of veered off course. We want to go, in general, in a different direction. So we're going to hang a left here. And we should see something rather remarkable fairly soon. Right there. Oh, man. This doesn't get any less crazy. Oh, look, there's an actual magnetite deposit that you can explore with the prawn suit. What was that? Oh, that guy's attacking me. Piss off. All right, so he wants a piece of me. Not surprisingly. Oh, you know what I don't have that makes life substantially easier when you're exploring this? I don't have the um, repulsion cannon, which I had last time I was here. And that enables me to move a lot of these things out of the way. So as you can see, there's the bed there. There's also a PDA in here that can be examined. But I don't know that I actually... Oh, this is anticlimactic. I don't know that I actually want to look in here yet. I don't I don't know that I, I'm, I'm ready to go diving in because all of these little, uh, little stingers will get me. There's another PDA there, too. Okay. 
God, why would you put a base here? It's just terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Let's see if there's anything in here worth picking up. Yeah, see, there's the water filtration machine. Which I probably could have scanned. Uh, if I didn't already have it. But I already have it, so it's cool. Alright, well, we'll come back when we have the rest of the propulsion cannon. All right, we're going to just cruise right back on up out of here. Hopefully not hit anything on the way up. That's better. And before I get in here, let me go ahead and pop out the welder. Fix up the Seamoth a little more because that thing got banged up. All right, problem solved. Let's hop back in. See? Once again, we didn't get to hear that voice. <laughs> I'm so bitter about that. Alright, so... That's one location. Now, where else? We're gonna go out this way. Towards the Blood Reef. There's a reef back right there. It's coming right toward us. Hey there. They're docile, though. Completely docile. Have I explored this wreck? I don't know if I have. Nope. Alright, let's go ahead and bust out the laser cutter. We got work to do. See, now that we have this mobility, we can really explore a lot of the a lot of the areas that we have kind of been through before. But you know, when we were exploring here previously, I didn't have the rebreather. It was tougher for me to stay down that for very long and explore. I was getting oxygen warnings really, really frequently. Now it's easier because I can just pop in and out of the cyclops and be fine. Matter of fact, I'm going to need to pop back into the Cyclops after I finish with this door. For reasons that she just told you about. That's that. And actually, I'm going to take that... I'm going to take this opportunity to lower the Cyclops a little bit. I want to get real close to that entry point. Perfect. Right, so we're going to park it right there. Now let's have a look-see. Okay, so we've got another area for us to cut through. But I'm just going to open this door. See what's on the other side of this. Now we might find something new here. We might not. We'll see. Yeah, so far I'm just seeing pieces of technology we've already found. Let's get the scanner out. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put the laser cutter in slot 4 so that we can use it. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Okay, that's not useful to me. So these are just more fragments of the mobile vehicle bay. I think, yes, I remember coming to this wreck now. I have been here because this is the one that I swam into and you, and you guys were like, oh my god, you the floor was just covered with fragments. And I didn't recognize them because, again, I'm not accustomed to them having textures, but now I am. So that's what they look like. <laughs> Uh, I will go ahead and hop out then, because we have in fact been here. I'm going to hop up here. And let's continue heading towards the Blood Reef, but actually we're going to veer a little bit this way. Okay, that's actually Base Camp Alpha in that direction. That's interesting. Hey there! Lots of poppin'. So the Cyclops in general is extraordinarily 
<laughs> invincible. It's tough to damage. It's tough to hurt this thing. So don't worry about it too much. If you bump into things, you'll be fine. It's hard to hurt the Cyclops. It's possible, but it's hard. Okay. We've been here as well, but I would like to revisit it now that we have the ability to dive. I think this is actually where I saw some of the propulsion cannon as well, so this is the that's the other reason that I want to come back here. Oh, here's a bench. I don't know if I've scanned the bench yet. There's a PDA, too. I'll have to pick that up. So I think I've been here, too. Random picture in a locker. Okay. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We're going to fix that real quick, then we're going to hop right back into the water. Power is already below 700 on this thing. I'm telling you, it's something I'm going to have to keep a closer eye on. Something all of you are going to have to keep a closer eye on, not just me. These damn snappers. Yeah, I've definitely been down here. I'm just not sure if I've fully explored this giant... I mean, this is a huge piece of the Aurora. Or possibly another ship entirely. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, that's just a, a shuttle bay door of some kind. I need to get back in the Cyclops. Okay, I'm satisfied that there's nothing new there as well. I kind of want to get through that door, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. Whoa. Okay. massive kelp forest area. You know, if we go to the mushroom forest, there's a wreck near there that I haven't explored yet, so let's make that our destination. Gonna cruise straight forward until we hit that. Oh, wait, gonna have to surface here. Unfortunately, Cyclops is not particularly adept at navigating the shallows. So in general, you want to try to stay away from the safe shallows when in the Cyclops. For the reason that you're seeing right now, it's, it's kind of obnoxious. As long as you're in somewhat deep water, you're okay. But the Cyclops is a massive submarine and you just have to, you have to take care with it. Well, while I'm on my way to the Mushroom Forest, I'll go ahead and cut this one here. And in the next one, we are going to explore that wreck by the Mushroom Forest and then just continue to find other biomes nearby and other wrecks that I haven't explored yet. I want to find the Floating Islands, but the Floating Islands is a... Uh, not the Floating Islands, but the... Um, I guess they are called the Floating Islands. They're underwater islands. Um, but uh, it's always one of the areas that is toughest for me to, to find. No matter how many times I play Subnautica, um, it's just the kind of, this is a vast world and it's easy to get turned around 
and that particular location can be tough to find. Hey, Reefback, how's it going? So we're almost in the mushroom forest here, but uh, oh hey, that's terrain. <laughs> But anyway, I will go ahead and cut this one here. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I upload new episodes in Survival School every day at 6 Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT minus 4 for those of you not in the States. And this is episode 18 of Survival School. So for those of you who might be newer to the channel, who might not be familiar with how things go around here, I rotate series out in my various time slots every 20 episodes. So... After episode 20, we're going to switch to some other content in the 6 p.m. slot and then maybe switch back to survival school for episodes 21 through 40 uh, later on down the line if that's something you guys are interested in. So just a heads up that we've got three more to go or two more to go now um, as of the end of this episode. And then we're going to switch to another one. If you're watching this in the backlog, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can just watch the next episodes regardless. But for the folks watching it live, we've got some uh, some new stuff uh coming around the corner. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Did I say this already? I think I did. I did. Wow. Commentary derp. All right. <laughs> I guess I'm sleepier right now while I'm recording this than I typically am. I'm just going to leave this in. I don't care. But uh, anyway, again, thanks very much for watching. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next episode.